Every time a plane lands, each tire leaves about one and a half pounds of rubber on the runway. This is because when the plane touches down, the tires are initially stationary. As they make contact with the runway, friction causes them to rapidly accelerate to match the aircraft's landing speed. This sudden acceleration generates significant heat, which causes the rubber to melt and adhere to the runway surface and the runway lights. The Airbus A380 is the largest passenger plane in the world and has 22 tires, which means it loses over 30 pounds of rubber per landing. That's about as much as two car tires. When you consider that the John F. Kennedy Airport is the busiest airport in America and handles about 1,200 flights per day, with an average of eight wheels per plane that equates to about 11 pounds of rubber per plane, or around 13,200 pounds or about 6,000 kilograms of rubber left on the runways per day. It's dangerous to leave that rubber on the runway and lights, and it needs to be cleaned off regularly. Rubber buildup makes the runway surface smoother, reducing the friction needed for the tires to grip the runway. This can lead to longer stopping distances. Also on rainy days, the water mixes with rubber deposits, which can create a slippery surface that can lead to hydroplaning, which can make planes skid and veer off the runway. The other reason to regularly clean the rubber off the runway is to also at the same time remove any buildup on the runway landing lights, which guide pilots during takeoff and landing and show the boundaries of the runway. Checking for rubber buildup is a bit more complex than simply looking for skid marks. It involves using specialized testing equipment and doing tests. Some airports use a specialized car with built-in test equipment. As the car drives down the runway, a wheel on an arm is lowered to measure the runway's friction. Based on the results of the test, it will determine if cleaning is required. At the JFK airport, the runways are cleaned of rubber buildup three to five times per week. This maintenance typically occurs at night to minimize disruptions, as each cleaning session can take up to four hours. There are several methods that can be used during the cleaning process, such as high-pressure water jets, chemical cleaning, large rotating mechanical scrubbers, and even dry ice blasting. High-pressure water jet systems come in all shapes and sizes, everything from small handheld machines used in small areas to large trucks designed to clean the whole runway. High pressure washing is very effective at cleaning the runways without damaging the surface. Although it's a very slow process, either doing one small section at a time or one small path at a time. The machine goes down a set path on the runway and blasts the tarmac with very hot water and sucks up everything that comes off it. Chemical cleaning is another method used to remove rubber deposits. This method involves using trucks to drive down the runway, spraying specialized chemicals to break down and dissolve the rubber, which can then be washed away. If chemicals and washing alone are not enough, for more effective removal, mechanical scrubbers can be used. This usually involves a truck with a large rotating scrubber on the front, driving down the runway to lift the rubber from the tarmac. Once the tarmac has been cleaned, they will high pressure wash or dry ice blast the runway lights to clean off any leftover rubber. During the cleaning process, the rubber is usually collected along with water and cleaning agents. Specialized equipment like vacuum systems or recovery trucks may be used to gather the waste material from the runway. If the rubber cannot be recycled, it is disposed of by sending the waste to a landfill. The water and chemicals used in cleaning runways are sent to industrial wastewater treatment plants, where it undergoes treatment to meet environmental discharge standards before being released into water bodies or reused. All this hard work pays off in the end. When a plane touches down smoothly and safely, its tires gripping the runway with the precision needed for a safe landing.